Shannon here from the Data Professor YouTube channel. So far, I've released a total of more than 30 videos on Streamlit, where I show you how to develop and build various web applications in Python using Streamlit. And in this new tutorial series, we're going to start from the basics, where I'm going to cover topic by topic on how you could use Streamlit to build data-driven applications. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how you could set up an environment in Python for your Streamlit projects. And so without further ado, let's get started. So whenever I start a new project, I like to create a new environment. And a great thing about that is that any libraries that you install will not interfere with any pre-existing projects that you have. And if you happen to install older versions of some libraries, then that would not have any influence on any of your other projects, which might be using a newer version. And so actually, I've made a video how you could use Conda to manage your data science project, where I show you from the basics of how you can install and use Conda. And so I'll provide the video link in the video description. And so let's get started in creating your very own Conda environment from which we will be installing Streamlit. And so in order to create a Conda environment, you must first install Conda into your computer. And so in a terminal, you want to type in Conda create dash n, which means that you want to create a new environment, and then you're going to give it a name. So for example here, I'm going to give it a name of sandbox. And then I'm going to specify a specific version of Python to be 3.7.9, and then enter. And then it's going to ask to confirm installation of the libraries here. We're just going to type in Y, capital Y. So wait for a few moments while the environment is being set up. All right, and so it's already set up for you. And so in order to start the environment, you want to type in Conda Activate and then the name of your environment. So it's Conda Activate Sandbox, which is the name of the environment that we have just created. Okay, so now we're going to install Streamlit into this environment. And so installing Streamlit is as simple as pip install Streamlit. So wait a few moments for this. All right, and so let's test it out. You want to type in Streamlit run hello. Oh, my bad. So it's actually Streamlit hello. So you want to type that in Streamlit hello. Enter. And then it's going to ask whether you want to give it permission. And so we're going to say allow. And now we're going to open up our browser, copy this link. We could copy the local host, colon 8501. And it's actually here. So it opened up a new window in Safari. And so we have this application at this particular address, which is right here. And so congratulations, you have now successfully installed Streamlit and you can get started in building your own data-driven applications. So stay tuned for other videos in this tutorial series. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey. 